Welcome to Getting Started, the Ari SR2. On the back of the camera is a four prong XLR input. This can be plugged either into the battery pack or into the wall. To charge the battery pack, simply pull the Velcro open on the back side of the leather pouch with the lights on it. Pull the power cord out and plug it into the wall. Red indicates charging. The green light will turn on to let you know when the battery pack is fully charged. The eyepiece is a fully orientated viewfinder. It can be used from a high position, low position, or on the other side. Spin this dial to adjust the diopter to your eye. On the camera you will find a test switch that will engage the film once a magazine has been loaded. The top setting of this lever is off. The middle is for any accessories that have been added to the camera. The bottom is the run or on button for the camera. This is the inching knob letting you advance the camera frame by frame and this is a built-in light meter. Loading the magazine. Keep in mind, normally this process is to be done inside a changing bag. We are showing you this in the light only to show you how it's done. Open the magazine by pressing the red safety lock button and rotating the latch to the horizontal position and then open the magazine. Hold the film so it forms the shape of a number 9. Remove the core adapter and place it in the core of the film roll. Carefully put the film back in the magazine stem by slowly rotating the roll onto the magazine until it locks tight. Fold the wings down on the core adapter. Move in the film roller making sure the uprights are cradling the roll of film. Feed the film into the slot on the magazine and close the chamber door. Move the latch to the vertical position to lock the magazine door closed. You can now remove the magazine from the change bag. Use the notch on the bottom part of the magazine to measure out how much film you should be using to make a good loop. Then use the dial to pull the film tight. Push the end of the film into the slot leading to the take up side of the magazine. To secure the film in the take up side you will need a core attached to the core adapter. Fold the end of the film and put it into the notch on the film core and then place it back on the stem. Roll up around 5 revolutions until it's nice and snug and move the film roller into place. Now close and lock the chamber door to the take up side and reset your clock to zero. Now apply the film loop to the pressure plate making sure the film rests on the pressure plate without scraping against the sides of the magazine or bowing up off the plate. Mounting the magazine onto the camera body. This crossbar on the magazine corresponds with this opening here on the camera body. Hold the magazine at around a 45 degree angle and gently drop the back of the magazine onto the camera. Lock the magazine in place by using this lever on top of the magazine. Spin the shutter control until it clicks and that will tell you that the pull down claw is locked into the sprocket. Conduct a scratch test by running the camera and then removing the magazine. Check the top of the emulsion to see if there are any scratches. If the scratch test is clear, lock the magazine back onto the camera and you are ready to shoot. Thank you for watching Getting Started, the Ari SR2.